Now, something else that has come up and is more of a localized thing right now, but I believe is going to be more widespread and even possibly national by the end of or by the start of the football season is the idea that you have to be vaccinated to go somewhere. So the, the Erie, Buffalo Bills. Yeah, the Erie County Commissioner, which is where Buffalo is is located, put out essentially a statement saying, hey, if you want to come to Bulls games, or not Bulls, Bills games next season, you need to be vaccinated. Essentially, you got to show proof of vaccination when you show up with your ticket. Uh, they have a specific app. They're mm-hmm. saying we will be at full capacity. Mm-hmm. Only vaccinated players, uh, only vaccinated people will be allowed in. They will make, and I quote, no religious or medical exemptions as there is no God-given right to attend a football game. That is a quote. I and like it. They, and they're doing this through the Excelsior app, which I'd never heard of before. It's a New York I saw specific this. app. Yes. And apparently the New York uh, State Depart- uh, Department of Health uses mm-hmm. this app. And that is the app that they want to use to verify your vaccination. So like none of the like bootleg vaccine cards that people are talking about now, like it's an app. And Sansa's app, you will not be able to get in. They said even if you buy a ticket, you will be turned away at the door. Yeah, and some people are not too happy about that. For example, some of the Bills players' wives, et cetera, have spoken out about it. Uh, Bill Safety Jordan Pryor, his wife, Rachel Bush, I think posted on Instagram about it. She said, quote, we have pregnant wives, wives who are breastfeeding, wives who have already had COVID, so it's dangerous to get vaccinated right now, et cetera. None of us feel comfortable being vaccinated at this time. None of us should be forced to do so in order to watch our husbands uh, go to work live. And, you know, this particular wife was a huge, she was a fixture at Bill's Games pre-pandemic. And my take on this is you, you have no right to watch him in person. There are live broadcasts of every single game. Like you can't see him before the game and immediately after anyways, because of all the media obligations, the workout, no women in the locker room. Etc. So, what's the difference really from watching him at home with your kids? Look, the county commissioner was like, "You also have no God-given right to get other people sick." You don't. He was he was really strong about this. He was like, "People will backlash against it, but we don't need any other authorization because we own the stadium." Absolutely, they they do. That's their right to set the conditions. I think it's going to be interesting seeing the hodgepodge of patchwork policies again this coming up NFL season. We saw it last year where we had things like the Niners playing in Arizona for the last part of the season. We had even, you know, I mentioned before, Dak built like a half artificial turf field in his backyard to do to be able to work out with C.D. Lamb and Amari Cooper. And so there are all these like patchwork things going on. We'll continue to give you updates on COVID and concussions. There's been a lot less concussions lately a lot more COVID, but we hope, we hope that we have neither of either to report and that this segment goes away for a while. Man, you good? Please continue, Demarcus. I was done. Oh, okay. I w- <laughs> look, you, look, the way you had worded that, it just kind of got me, bro. I'm not <laughs> like, going to lie. I don't even know what was funny. Uh, you were like, there has been a lot less concussions and a lot more COVID. That shit was funny, Nick. Like, I don't know if it's true. Funny. It was, don't look, all good jokes have some truth in it. All right. 